We're just in land from Daytona Beach with this circuit that has so much history. And welcome along to what is going to be a cracking day's racing. They're racing for the big trophy. They're racing for the Rolex. Rolex. I am Keiko Solino driving the car AF Corsa 296 GT3, car 21. This is my first Rolex 24. My name is Anofrio Triarce with Triarce Competizione. My position is team owner and driver, and this is our second Rolex. My name is Victor Garcia. I'm the team manager of Conquest Racing. This will be my first Rolex 24 hour race. My name is uh, Fabio Tosi. I'm the managing director for AF Corsa USA. We, we manage also Tri Dealer Racing, and uh, this is my sixth uh, Rolex. Robbie Holly. I'm a tire specialist for Risti Competizione. This is my 19 Rolex 24. I'm gonna fight them all. A army couldn't hold me back. They're gonna rip it off. Taking their time right behind my back. And I'm talking to myself. That night, cause I can't forget oh, Back and forth through my mind I This is the 2024 Rolex 24 at Daytona We see the green I mean, This is coming from my eyes Ben Barnegat took the lead early in the RCF GT. Risi Competizioni's Daniel Surra has carved his way through. Battle at the sharp end of GTD Pro. We are now leading with the car 47 and uh, we are behind with the car 21. The competition is really tight, the field is really tight. It will be interesting to see you know, the next hours uh, and see what's happened until the morning. Hopefully we're going to stay in the competition. Here with TRC Competizione. Uh, we had a great start to the race. We made it up to uh, P2 in class. And uh, during my stint around four hours in, you know, we had contact with a P3 from behind. Uh, so we had to come in and do a rear deck change, which put us down two laps. Uh, but we're back out there now in P7 at the 13th hour, and uh, we're back in the fight. Just a warning from race control. I've never heard of a warning for ramming into the back of somebody and turning on. night I'm telling you it's uh five hours to go we've had a couple of punctures and we had a small fire in the pit a uh, little fuel fire got it put out the car was okay we're up front and uh the Ferrari out of Houston Texas is uh hanging in there so we'll see what we got I'm gonna reach it to Far from this opera forevermore I'm gonna work this job 
the team has done a fantastic job. Everybody from engineers, mechanics, the drivers, everybody. Had some ups and downs in this race, as you would expect it. It's not over until it's over, so we have to stay focused until the second car goes. One of my favorite things about Rolex 24 is, you know, once you make it through the night and you're on the banking, uh, if you're fortunate enough to be in the car when the sunrise is happening, uh, it's a really special feeling. That's really when the battle begins. 10.48 uh, in the morning, Sunday morning. We have, uh, we have less than three hours to go. I think uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, ending. It's going to be a drug race to, to the checkered flag from now on. So we keep pushing and see, and see what's happening at the end. Finger cross. Look at Collado, he's looking for a way through the oh, get a draft off that fellow Ferrari, goes to the high side. Look at the pace of that 62 car. GTD Pro up on the high side. Oh, that's huge for the 62 in the battle with the number one to clear the GTD traffic right now. Sarah for racing competition has won. We just uh, put on a show at Daytona. We finished first in the GT Pro class. It was uh, really a good battle all night. We went through 26 sets of tires. It was a great weekend at Daytona. I'm looking forward to doing it again. Is there anything you would want to change? No. Good? How about? I'm good. <laughs> Taking their time right behind my back.